The Path Array option, introduced in AutoCAD LT 2012, enables you to arrange objects along a linear object, like a spline or polyline. After I start the command, and select an object to array, I'm asked to select a path curve. I'm going to select a spline here, but I could also use a line, polyline, arc, circle, or ellipse. Now I'm asked to specify the number of objects and then their location. I can either do this by specifying the spacing between the objects, or by the total distance, or I can choose to space the objects evenly along the path. You may notice that this has a lot in common with the divide and measure commands. Many of the options are similar. For now, I'll stick with specifying the spacing. You'll also notice that the array length can't be greater than the length of the path, so that limits the maximum distance between objects. After I finish the array, I'll select it again. Because I used a measure option, not divide, I get two arrow grips. I can use this one to change the spacing between objects, and this one to change either the number of objects or the total length of the array. With the square grip on the end, I can move the entire array, or add rows to create a two-dimensional pattern. You could also add levels in the Z direction, but unless you're working with a file from AutoCAD that contains 3D elements, you probably won't need this. These grip functions are also available from the Contextual Ribbon tab. The Levels function is here too, as well as an option to add incremental height to rows, but again, unless you're working with a 3D drawing, you probably won't need this. If you change the base point of a path array, the objects will actually move to reflect that. This is different from what happens when you change the base point of objects in a polar or a rectangular array. The point you pick here will be placed on the array path, so if I pick the center of this shrub, it moves onto the spline. If I pick a point below the center, it moves up. Next to base point is measure and divide. Measure means that you set the spacing between objects, and there might be some leftover space at the end of the path. If I switch the array to divide, the objects are distributed evenly instead. The arrow grips disappear, because the spacing is defined by the path, and the total item spacing is also grayed out. Align items specifies whether the objects are rotated to match the path orientation. You won't see much difference here, because our items are essentially round. Z direction is for 3D paths, and specifies whether or not the objects bank along the path. Edit source works the same way as it does for rectangular and polar arrays. With replace item, the base point you pick for your replacement object will end up on the actual path, so keep that in mind when making your selection. And just like the other two array types, you can use control with left click to select and modify individual objects. Reset array puts everything back to the original state.